All right, so let's talk about the special set of constellations called the Zodiac. There are entirely 88 constellations, right? Both hemispheres of the sky is broken up into 88 contiguous regions or zones called constellations. But there are 12, or depending upon who you ask, 13, of those that the sun passes in front of through the year. So let's take a closer look at this. Let's start up here in March, okay? Specifically on the March equinox of, of March 21st. At night, we're looking towards the stars that are out there, right? Away from the sun. But during the day, we're looking towards the sun and we're looking towards this part of our galaxy. And so in this video, you can kind of uh, keep in mind that there are stars way out far away in our galaxy that are surrounding our solar system. There's stars all around us. Okay, so on that March 21st, during the daytime, we're looking this way, and the sun happens to be blocking the stars in the galaxy that are over here. And so those stars comprise the constellation of Pisces. Pisces the fishes, okay? And so, for those of you born in March, Pisces should be your zodiacal sign, all right? Um, let's move along in the year to now June 21st, which is over here on the left. At nighttime, we're looking over here, but we're not worried about the nighttime for the zodiac. We're worried about where the sun is. In other words, the daytime. So we're looking to the right, and the sun is in front of the stars in our galaxy that are over here. If we're standing on Earth looking towards the sun, it's blocking these stars. And so those stars way over there are in the constellation. Oh, I forget. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, those are Gemini. That's right. Those stars comprise the constellation of Gemini, the, the twins. Okay? And now, moving three months later than June, we have September down here on the bottom. During the daytime, we're looking towards the sun, and so we're looking towards the stars over here in our galaxy, and that comprises the constellation of Virgo. Virgo the Virgin. Okay? And so three months after that, the Earth continues its orbit around the Sun. And during the day, we're looking now to the left in this diagram, right? So the Sun during the day blocks the stars that are over here in our galaxy. And that happens to be, uh, um, I believe, yes, Sagittarius. Okay. There are other constellations in between, of course. There's about one constellation for every calendar month. These are the four ones for the solstices and the equinoxes, right? But the important thing is that the sun is in front of these constellations. Let's take a look at this diagram here, okay? So pick a day. Say today is August 20th. So August 20th, whoops. August 20th, about, is right here. The Earth, specifically, is right there. During nighttime, we're looking away from the sun. So at night, we should see constellations like Aquarius, Capricorn, and Pisces, right? These constellations. But at day, during the daytime, we're looking towards the sun, and thus the sun is in front of the constellation of Leo. So if you're born in this time of August, your zodiacal sign is Leo, the lion. Next month, September 21st, we did this earlier, looking towards the sun, you should be in the constellation of Virgo. One month later, October, looking towards the sun, you should be in the constellation of Libra. Okay? These constellations, these zodiacal constellations, are all about where or rather, what constellation the sun is blocking. 
as Earth goes around. So for example, my birthday is early November. So in early November is like here, looking towards the sun, I am a Scorpius, right? Or a Scorpio. Um, so that's basically the zodiac. There are special constellations. They are special, right? The sun orbits, or rather appears to orbit, in the sky and cr passes along this line called the ecliptic, and these constellations are crossing that ecliptic line, thus defining what the zodiac actually is.